So in this video, we will see how this object orientation works. So as the name is, this gives the orientation values. And this is the definition, the object orientation X will output the world space up vector of the object. In the other word, this is the direction. The local positive Z axis of the object, the material is applied to is pointing for the refer decal uh, material domain return decal projection direct X. So by default, it uh, gives you the positive Z direction. It's pointing to the up direction. So if I will take the debug vector floor 3 because this is 3 and we will see it gives you the values of the rotation x y 0 and that z position it gives the direction of the z the rotation so how does this work so if i save this browse this and take a model like a So it's giving the zero value because it has a zero. And one thing that I want to show you here. So if I rotate it on Y, the values of X is changing. Okay. If I'm rotating on X, the value of Y changing because it gives you the direction, not the same rotation. It's not the same X link from here to here. It gives you the axis light giving the positive Z. So if you want my X, so this is the direction of x okay so this should rotate on this x then it will change if you want the y direction because it give you the direction okay in this direction so i want this direction so now the direction is changing and how to use it what what will be the example so the basic example will be like if you have like a mask from this like uh, just the red channel and you have a lurk and you connect it here and just connect this here it gives you black and white and it, if i save this and if i browse this and let me move it here so i want my x direction so it's turning white and it's turning black but it's now it's turning white because of the rotation repeats after 360 and uh, negative values friends so to avoid that you can take the absolute here and then let me make it zero white black white so in any direction positive or negative it will change the color you can use two colors here if you want like red green now it will do the same okay and one more example like if you have uh you are painting your foliage and you want all your trees who are standing straight should be green and all the trees who are slightly rotated so this should be red okay so the trees who are rotating or facing the ground or building wilting to the ground they are red and straight will be green or vice versa okay so to do that let's say you have a land uh, foliage and this directly doesn't work this node doesn't work for the instance so we'll have to convert that so like you have a foliage here and you have any mesh like you can take a foliage or you can take like this 3d model and then i'll select it and overwrite the material and I'll use my material here. Okay. And then there should be random rotation. Okay. And this directly doesn't work. So you need to transform it from world space to instance. So from world to instance because I forelays is instance geometries. So I'll just save it. okay and now if i paint you can see the difference all the characters who are standing straight they are green see so you can you know you can like instantly see oh these characters are like straight character or tree anything and those are rotated they are pure red the so fully 90 degree rotating and in between are oranges and yellowish 
so this is this can be the basic use of this but you can use in uh, lots of different cases you can also use it in particle so that's what it gives you it gives you the direction at which direction your object is rotated so you can use that to change your things uh, instead of color you can also change the take the texture so like if you have two texture in one you have like this metal and in this second one maybe you have this grass okay so you can just directly connect it here and hit save so you can see the difference here okay so that's the use of it so thanks for watching keep learning